Welcome to the next session of the On Device Research Academy. Today I'm joined by Alex Greaves, Programmatic Director at Kinetic. So Alex, how have we seen the use of programmatic digital at home increase over the last 12 months? Over the last 12 months we've definitely seen it increase. I would probably say that it started and, and continued to start off a little bit slower just as more clients and brands wanted to sort of dip their toe in. Very excited by the opportunities in terms of the flexibility, the tech capability. But then as the ball got rolling and people started running campaigns and they saw what the campaigns did, then they started really to looking to heavily invest and you know, even look to do 2024 BAU activity because they saw the value of what programmatic out of home delivers. I think for an overall out of home landscape, I think it's fantastic. I think it, it actually enables some brands that previously would have been resistant to coming to out of home actually really want to enter the market. And uh, the opportunity of multi-channel, omni-channel has really enabled overall the, the growth to be quite quite interesting going, going into the next year. More widely, how have you seen this affect the out-of-home landscape overall? I would say that it's, it's, it's helped it in the fact that, you know, previously I said that there's, there's opportunities for new brands, new, new companies to come to the market. And we have definitely seen some brands previously that were interested, but there was a challenge around flexibility, around they, they needed more flexibility than out-of-home maybe had. And programmatic has enabled them to actually enter the market and still get, you know, potentially exactly the same format they would have bought via traditional, um, but with the, the programmatic benefits of whether it's data, an audience first approach, the ability of measurement and the ability to actually show uh, C-suite that, you know, your campaign is driving awareness, it is driving consideration. Uh, or recently we have actually seen more and more brands coming back going, oh wow, it drove purchase intent. We knew that was an opportunity, but we didn't know actually how effective it would be. So I think overall, we've seen it, uh, it really helped the market. We, we saw programmatic out of home this year looks about to be about 8% of the market. Um, that has risen from last year, and we think that will probably rise quite significantly again as more brands, as more media owners, and everyone comes together and really embraces what programmatic is and can be going forward. So what do you feel we should be looking at in terms of development and progression as we continue to progress into 2024? Growth like straight off the back growth for sure. Um, I think as more clients get excited and embrace programmatic and more media owners and more DSPs, I think there's only going to be growth. In terms of key trends that I'm looking at and that, that we're looking at with Sightline, I think that one is creative, like I mentioned before, like creative is really exciting. How can we do more exciting things with creative? The likes of 3D coming in, there is opportunities to do that programmatically. That's really exciting. Our clients love the idea of having an audience first approach, location data overlaid with a 3D creative. It's like, wow, that's everything that I want. Um, so definitely creative. Tech capabilities enablement, whether it's something previously, you know, we look at trigger activation and it's something, you know, weather, which is really effective. We do it on a lot of campaigns. Well, once if we can have a campaign that has, you know, something around a sports result, something around train times, airplanes, like taking off and landing, there are so many opportunities going into the future with tech enablement on all fronts that I think we will start to see some really, really clever campaigns. But in that, they're also very efficient because they're only on the right, the right panel at the right time in the right place, whereas previously they wouldn't have been able to do that. So I think that that is going to be something that could be, could be really interesting. And, and the final thing is if you bring that all together, I think we'll just see some, like overall, we'll just see massive development on the measurement front. I think that's, obvious, that's a key area for us. A lot, of the, a lot of the way that when we go speak to clients is, I don't want to just tell you about how good our planning is and our activation is. I want to show you how good it is. And that's, again, is about understanding what their goal is. What do you actually want this channel to do? You want it to drive awareness? Great, we'll build a plan around awareness. Do you want to drive consideration? Great, we'll actually change it slightly, change the format we want to deliver on. Or if you want to drive purchase intent, okay, what stores have you got? What sort of data that we can involve so that we know, okay, we know your product is in stock. We know that we can serve outside on the point of sale and therefore we can really help drive that lower funnel metric. So I think if we sort of involve all of that, I think that's, that's sort of where we're, we're looking at 24. Do you need to demonstrate better effectiveness and accountability when it comes to your programmatic out-of-home advertising? If so, then please reach out to us at ondeviceresearch.com.